Guys, is Elon Musk at it again? Or are we really getting much, much closer or nearly there to full autonomy? You be the judge. Musk, as you know, has made wild predictions about full autonomy. And this has begun many years ago, back in 2016, when he first promised Tesla vehicles would be full self-driving within one year. As we know, it didn't quite turn out that way. And solving the full autonomy challenge was much harder than we thought. Even now, after many, many billions of dollars have been spent by automakers and technology companies all around the world, including Alphabet or Google or Waymo, we still haven't solved the issue, the challenge. Now, Wired, back in 2019, said, Elon Musk is at it again, making wildly ambitious and possibly quixotic predictions about the future of autonomous vehicles on the eve of what's expected to be a disappointing earnings report from Tesla. Well, why we're wrong, the earnings report wasn't disappointing. In fact, it shocked many analysts. And that is my prediction for what will happen within the next two months. Tesla will shock many analysts with its full self-driving beta as Tesla finally comes closer to solving full autonomy. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous. I know it sounds insane. I know Elon Musk has promised this many, many times. However, I believe from seeing videos of, full, of the beta full self-driving stack that they're getting very close. And within 12 months, yes, I know, not tomorrow or not next month, but within 12 months, full self-driving will be available on Tesla vehicles. That is my prediction. And now that is why I also believe it's wise to invest in Tesla. In fact, if you're not convinced that I'm right, you could always just invest in Google or obviously Waymo is owned by Google and Tesla. And then you've covered off the two most likely companies to succeed in the industry. So you've covered both of your bases. And as we know, this industry is ripe for enormous growth. In fact, I believe the autonomy, the autonomous vehicle industry is a trillion dollar several trillion dollar industry that is going to be an enormous opportunity for whoever cracks the code first. So Maria Murano from Teslarati has reported that Tesla full self self-driving subscription and download beta button are coming soon. This may sound like not particularly significant news, but guys, I believe it's way bigger news than what anyone has realized. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Maria says, Tesla CEO Elon Musk made two big announcements about the company's full self-driving suite. He shared that Tesla's full self-driving download beta button could come out as early as next month or by June this year. Musk added that Tesla's full self-driving subscription service will be released next month, saying that it was a sure thing. Tesla AI autopilot engineering is awesome. Making excellent progress solving real-world AI. Elon Musk tweeted recently. He answered a few questions about Tesla's full self-driving suite in the comment section too. Elon Musk, Tesla AI autopilot engineering is awesome, making excellent progress solving real-world AI. F9 Block 5 says, any update on releasing the beta button? Elon Musk responds and says, major improvements are being made to the vision stack every week. Beta button, hopefully next month. This is a march of nines, trying to get probability of no injury above 99.9999999% of miles for city driving. Production autopilot is already above that for highway driving. And Zach responds and says, what about full self-driving subscription? Musk says, same timing. Same timing for full self-driving subscription. So Musk has said full self-driving, in theory, in his belief, in his mind, will be available in June. So he hasn't really, I don't think people have caught on to what he's saying here. He's saying he believes full self-driving will be available in June. If you haven't already invested in Tesla shares, you might as well do so now. Listen, even if you're skeptical, even if you're skeptical, even if you think there's only a 10% chance that this really happens, that's a 10% chance of the share price doubling overnight. Have a think about that. Musk stated that major improvements were being made to the vision stack of full self-driving beta every week. Last month, Tesla received a patent that could decrease full self-driving beta's reliance on sensors. 
taking a step towards a truly image-based approach towards autonomy. He was hopeful that Full Self Driving's download beta button would be available as early as next month. Musk noted that Tesla was trying to get the probability of injuries above the 99.9999999% of miles for city driving. Replying to a separate tweet, Musk noted that releasing the Full Self Driving download beta button by May would be aspirational, explaining that it would depend on how well version 9.0 performs. However, he seemed confident that the Full Self Driving beta's wide release along with this download button, would be available no later than June. As for Full Self Driving Subscription, Musk seems certain that Tesla would roll out the service next month. Full Self Driving Subscription has been a hot topic for some time as it would allow Tesla owners to try out the company's more autonomous software for a more reasonable or more affordable price. The cost of Tesla's Full Self Driving Subscription service has not been announced, but the company may provide more information on the subject during its upcoming earnings call. Now, I believe analysts, specifically Wall Street analysts, are not factoring in the possibility of this subscription service into their Tesla forecast and Tesla price. Obviously, it's hard to do so because Tesla don't have this feature right at the moment. However, it will definitely be a part of their earnings in future as Tesla consumers, as Tesla owners decide to take up the subscription service. Now, whether or not it costs $100 a month, $200 a month, $50 a month, I think, in fact, I have no idea what it's going to cost. I believe, however, at least 50% of Tesla owners will take up this option of having full self-driving, which will enable them to use their car as a robo-taxi and enable them to make more, a much a significant amount of income from their vehicle, especially within the first few years of ownership when there aren't all that many autonomous taxis on the road and therefore it can take a greater market share and take advantage of higher costs in the taxi industry, which I believe will lower significantly over the years to the point where by 2030, the cost of getting a taxi will be one-tenth of what it is now. Moving on to the comments. Our most popular comment comes from SimGuy05, who says, also the titles for these stories need to reflect even a bit of uncertainty. In reality, no one knows if it's coming soon or not. It is not a done deal, and it should be presented as such. It's definitely not a fact. Of course it's not, <laughs> obviously. Now, Bubba has replied and said, vision-based full self-driving needs a lot of processing like a pigeon brain. Tesla will need PW millimeter radar, LIDAR, to make system reliable. This will take a long time. Work in progress. And Jeremy has responded to Bubba saying, nope. Isn't it clear yet that LiDAR isn't being used by Tesla? Do you need LiDAR? No, you don't. Neither does a car. Exactly. Do you need LiDAR when you're driving? Let, guys, let's imagine your head had eight sets of eyes and there was nothing. You were driving a convertible vehicle, right? Let's say you were driving a convertible. So there was no pillars, no, no, no nothing in your way of being able to see. And you had eight sets of eyes in your head. Imagine how well you could drive. And you had 100% reliability, as in you never felt sleepy, you never felt tired, you were always focused at every minute of the day. That is how vision for self-driving will work. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please leave a like or a comment. Or even better, subscribe to the channel, and that will really help us grow, and it will also help me to keep on producing content. Thank you for watching once again. I'll see you on the next one.